Hello everyone, I'm here with Jill, director of The Stylist, her first feature-length film, but not her first time behind the camera. The Stylist tells a story we have all probably wondered secretly, does the person who cut our hair also kill people? <laughs> Thank you for joining me. <laughs> Thank you for having me. Uh, this is the question I always ask first. What is the first film you remember seeing in theaters? Oh my gosh, in theaters. I can barely remember being really young. What the hell's the first thing? I don't know why The Lion King comes to mind. I know I saw stuff way before that, but I don't know for sure what it was. <laughs> <laughs> it was just The Lion King probably had an impactful effect on your life. Definitely an impactful movie theater experience. Thanks. In 1994, 93, I'm trying to remember. <laughs> yeah, I think it was 94. Um, do you remember the first horror movie you saw in or out of theaters at all? I remember um, definitely not in the theater. I would, around the same time, I would go stay with one of my good friends, Courtney, and we would stay with her for the weekend, and her parents really did not pay attention to what we would rent, so that's where I started my horror like adventures at like 10 years old. And a couple of the first ones I remember are Dr. Giggles, which has a strong place in my heart still and and candy man which of course is incredible but dr giggles is definitely one of the first ones i remember seeing and i love it <laughs> i will look that one up <laughs> you never seen dr giggles i don't think i did oh, um man. it's a class candy man but not yeah i'm not sure what that one is um you've been doing shorts now for years and you made the stylist first as a short film. Did you envision it becoming a larger film or, and if not, why'd you pick that one to become a longer film eventually? Yeah, from, from the start of the concept, I was hoping to do it in a feature, but um, when I first thought of it, it was like right after we shot my first short film that I directed, I just knew like I needed more experience for sure and was nowhere near that point. So just started actually with, uh, my first short film was called Call Girl and I only, I only directed that one. It was written by Eric Havens, who I turned to once I had the idea for Stylist. And I was like, you want to help me write this? And we started with the short, but, and like right after we shot the short started, uh, outlining the feature. So, that one was always, that was always the intention. And I knew we could use the short as like a way to pitch the feature to people. It's like, now I joke that it's like a 12 minute trailer we have for the future. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Um, and you use the same lead, Najara, Najara. Uh, how <laughs> did she land the lead role? She, um, I met her at a film festival in Palm Springs. Um, where her film Contracted played. So I got to see a premiere of that and was super impressed with her in that. And I think it was about a year later that I was thinking about casting stylist. And at first I honestly, I don't know how to talk about this without sounding insensitive, but I was trying to find someone a little unconventional looking or not like traditionally what you look at and say is beautiful whatever that means obviously that's different to everybody but um when it really came down to it i didn't want it to be based on that especially when the film is a lot about looks and how you perceive yourself so actually i rewatched contracted and realized like that's a great film to show her range she goes through like everything in that film and i mean looking back on it now i don't i don't know how the film would exist without her she plays it so well without it. I feel like it could have gone to a silly place, but she has grounded the character so much. Um, yeah, I think we're, I'm so lucky to have worked with her and hope to keep working with her. Palm Springs. That's the review yeah. behind my head on my virtual background. Um, <laughs> I have not seen that movie yet. Oh, it's on Hulu. Yay, advertisement. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, Besides the time commitment, what was the biggest challenge shooting a full-length film? Oh, my. Um, or challenges, I guess. Yeah, probably the first, like, the biggest thing is to find the 
money to start the whole thing, um, which is why we actually last year at this time, we were running a Kickstarter campaign still for the film. And we'd been trying to get it financed for a couple years before that. And finally just decided how we're going to do this like on our own. We got to start making this now. We can't wait any longer. Um, but then, I mean, I think the biggest challenge is honestly scheduling something like this because so many people, so many locations, so many moving things and like how do they all happen on the same time? <laughs> um, there's like a whole team of people that thankfully figure that out. But uh, it's it's been amazing. I mean, yeah, it was only a year ago that we were still hoping to just get it financed. And somehow here we are about to show it. <laughs> <laughs> um, besides Call Girls, most of your shorts that you've directed, you've also written. Do you think you're going to continue doing that in the future, mostly? Um, I like to do both. I've directed a few from other writers or kind of writers that I work with a lot, so I feel real connected to it. You know, it's that's important to me. I can't just, I've learned that by reading scripts that I can't, you can't just direct anything. It's going to, you know, it takes... A serious connection to it because of how much work it takes to make but um I like to do both in fact I've got a couple features in development neither one I wrote that we've been trying to get made for a couple years um so I'm interested in both it's just I've got to connect to it deeply and love it like it is my own to be able to to care you know care about it enough yeah and also now that you've done a feature length film, is that what you want to do more so in the future? Definitely. Um, been trying to get over that hill forever. It feels like um, hoping to show people that I can do it and want to do it again. That's the plan. Um, did you want to share any of your future film ideas? I think I need to keep those somewhat secret. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> are, are they are they a horror in nature or are you expand uh going to other genres do you think yeah most of them are horror uh but i do really like kind of like the films that kind of cross a lot you can't exactly put them in one box that kind of will have sprinkles of horror and thriller and revenge um i really like crime crime revenge thrillers a lot too so you know, like stuff like I Saw the Devil, which a lot of people also put that in a horror genre. So, mm -hmm. but um, I really like that kind of stuff that can also be a drama, can be a horror. I like that world. So I don't think I'll only stay in horror, but I do love all the, all the fun genre, crime, thriller, the dark stuff. <laughs> awesome. And finally, from your film, do you think there was anything cut for being too creepy or awkward, or did everything kind of get shot the way you wanted, put in the film the way you wanted? It um, we really it really turned out how I wanted. We there were as far as like things we had to cut. Um, luckily, we didn't cut, or I don't like to lose anything that I was you know super in love with. But there was like one scene, which I can't talk about in too much detail, but where I realized in hindsight that we, that we should lose it just because it, it took us out of, this whole film's really the objective is to stay in Claire's perspective. Claire is the stylist and it was kind of a moment that took us away from her, kind of more like a slasher, like we were with the victims. And I was just like, that doesn't make sense. We are always with her we should have not shot this scene. And I w what's funny is this is all my fault. Um, I was definitely advised maybe should, we should cut that before we shot it. And shot it anyway, then cut it. <laughs> but uh, we, it was a challenging thing to do on our budget, but we, thanks to Kansas City and all the, and our crew, we were able to accomplish pretty big things with not a lot. So I'm really thankful for that. Great to hear. Um, thank you so much, Jill, for chatting with me today at Gorgon Reviews. The Stylist has its world premiere on Saturday, September 26th at 8 p.m. Central as part of the celebration of Fantastic Fest. 
and viewers can watch that at home. Uh, look up Fantastic Fest. It's all over their website. So thanks again, Jill, and I can't wait to see more of your work in the future. Thank you for having me.